What's motor oil? You know this one and this one, but this one, motor oil, nobody really knows. Almost most of my racing career, I have trusted in one brand of motor oil. Maybe it's because I'm made in Germany. My motor oil also is made in Germany. It's called Liqui Moly. But what is it actually? To answer that question, we are going to Saarlouis in Germany on the border of France. Here's Liqui Moly's mass screen plant. The engineers constantly improve what they do best, making probably the best motor oil in the world. That's our Liqui Moly lab. Oliver Kuhn, deputy head of laboratory here in Saint Louis, is it's the perfect mad scientist to explain what motor oil is and how liquid moly actually makes it. This is one of the most important base oils today. It's the so-called hydrocracked base oils. It's the API Group 3. All modern engine oils are based on these Group 3 base oils. So the first thing we need is a bit of a base oil here. And we begin to heat it up give them around 80 degrees. We also need a second one, the HC6. It's a higher viscous crate. We also have to put it together with the HC4. This gives the base viscosity of a 5W30 engine oil. You see it's mixed together. The temperature is rising up. Viscosity is the thickness of an oil. The thinner or the lower the viscosity, the thinner is the oil. The higher the viscosity, the thicker. For example, this is a very low viscosity. You see it here. So it's a low viscosity, it's a thin fluid. This has a high viscosity. It flows very slowly. If you have a pure base oil like this one's here or here in our mixture, the viscosity of this mixture is too low to lubricate an engine. We have to risen up the viscosity for 5W40 grade, for example, with this viscosity improver. This is a polymer which risen up the viscosity to the level we want to have in an engine. So we put certain amount of viscosity improver of this polymer into the oil, and now we rise the viscosity from a not SAE grade up to a SAE 5W30. The viscosity is necessary to lubricate the bearings. When the viscosity is too low, the oil pressure in the bearings is too low and then you get friction. So the higher the viscosity is, the better the engine is lubricated. So that's why we need high viscosity in our engines. Today we have viscosity grades of around 5W30 or 5W20. That's a good mixture between lubricating and also fuel efficiency. Because if you have higher viscosity, you have higher fuel consumption. So the lower the viscosity, the lower is fuel consumption, but at a certain point you get friction. So that's our point here, our work, to get the correct viscosity of our oils, to have correct lubrication with good, good fuel efficiency. Now we need another additive. It's to improve the cold temperature behavior of the product. It's a PPD, it's a poor point depression. This product decreases the temperature of the oil, which is important that it flows at lower temperatures, down to minus 40 degrees, for example. So we need only a small portion of it. It's also mixed into the base oil. Temperature is at 80 degrees, that's fine. And now we have the most important product. That's an additive package. With this additive package, we bring chemicals into the oils. Oil needs friction modifiers. They need also cleaning agents, dispersants, detergents, anti-corrosion additives. Everything is packed in this additive package and that's the core of every engine oil. Inside this product, we have all the chemical substances we need to have a engine oil working properly. Today's or modern engine oils contain up to 30% of additives. The cleaning agents, we have the anti-corrosion additives, we have friction modifiers for fuel efficiency. So it's not the oil which lubricates the engine, it's the additive. On the composition of the different additives together, they give 
the correct lubricant, not only the oil. With this package in the correct amount, we get the correct engine oil. And that's the main secret of all our engine oils. And the last ingredient is another base oil. In this time we have a PAO, a poly alpha olefin, also a synthetic base oil. We need a small amount of it. And then we have an engine oil.